Today we are enabling our 2013 Chevrolet Silverado to do a little bit more with the Malone Trade Sport ladder rack. The truck bed ladder rack being in the bed of the truck makes it super easy to tie your stuff down. Whenever I'm tying kayaks down up on my roof and I'm standing on the ground, it's a little difficult. With this, you're right up close and personal so you can be extra confident that it's not gonna go anywhere. Also with our ladders, we're gonna have some ladder load stops right here which this can be used with a ladder, could be used for your lumber, your pipe, whatever you really need to bring to that job site. You loosen it up, slide it all the way up against our ladder, tighten it down, and we have plenty of spaces here for tie downs. We can utilize our load stops on the side of our bar, and the way you wanna do it is you take the little T-slot piece here, and put that in, and you're gonna slide it up and fit the other slot in and put our knob in here. And you can't really put it in your bed. This is just one way you can utilize the sides. I like to just put it up here. I do like when it's all the way up against the bar. So I just take it, move it up, take it, move it up. And then we can utilize this and that up there to tie it down properly. I plan on utilizing the tracks on the side and on the top. So I didn't put this little rubber strip, but look how much we get. So if you really want to maybe cut down on that wind noise a little bit, all you have to do is just take this stuff, just kind of squeeze it together like that, all the way down. This will just cut down on that wind noise and you can always take it out really quickly if you needed to use the T-slots for an accessory. We have 72 inches of bar space up on top, and if you pick your accessories wisely, you can really utilize the bar a little bit more. What I mean by that is we have the Yakma Showdown here, which has a little bit of overhang off the bar, so we can have that overhang a little off the bar, so we can use the assisting feature of this rack to help get our kayaks up, because it is gonna sit 29 inches above the bed rails of your truck. The clamps right here is what's gonna secure the ladder rack assembly to your truck. This is gonna work even if you do have the drop-in liner, you might have to maybe trim it out a little bit. If you have a spray-in liner, it is going to work as well. It's gonna protect your truck's side rails. Right now, I don't have any like, covers on the side of my truck, so I don't want the paint to get scratched. If you can see the little black piece right underneath, it does have pads on there already that is bound to this little foot. So you don't have to worry about it scratching up your truck. Everything you see right here is what you're gonna need to secure your bar to your truck. If you have a Tacoma or a Tundra, you're gonna be using these parts right here. But we are installing it on a Silverado. So you can take these blocks and the longer bolts and you can put them aside because you're not gonna need to use them. One thing I highly suggest is getting some anti-seize. This is gonna be for the clamps, just because sometimes, especially when you leave it out, they start to seize up a little bit. All you wanna do, is what I like to do, you can screw it all the way in, take the little stick of anti-seize, which we do sell it here at E-Trailer, so you can pick that up, and just go on there, try to coat it the best you can on both sides, and then once you have it kinda of coated, you can go ahead and back this off to get the threads and everything all anti-seized up. This is just gonna make it last a little bit longer without having any trouble, just because of the stainless steel hardware. This is definitely a one person job. If you're doing it by yourself, you can just put the rack assembly down by your tailgate and we can lift this up. So the goal here is to have these feet facing in towards each other and I have them loose still, so I didn't tighten this stuff down. The reason why I do that is I can slide them around a little bit. So once we get it up on there, we wanna make sure it's nice and flush up against the sides like this. And then we can take a measuring tape out or whatever to get this bar nice and centered up on our roof. Once we have the bar in position and everything set up to how we want it, we can take the Allen key that's included with our kit and tighten down one, two, three and four bolts on both sides. Let's take a look and see how these clamps work. What you wanna do is disconnect them. So lefty-loosey all the way like this. 
The flat part with the threads is going to go up there. We want it to be all the way up to the bottom of our rail. We're going to put this on there, line it up with that hole, and screw it in. Just get it threaded and started. We want to push it all the way up, keep these nice and level. And I'm going to put this clamp as far forward as I can. And we want to make sure that the grooves are going to be nice and lined up with our clamp. So I have this kind of hand tight right now. I'm going to slide this one as far to the front as possible. And then this one, I want to slide right to the edge here. So I want to get it to where it's pretty much hand tight. And then we can come back through here with our Allen key, tighten it up a little bit more on both sides. Kind of like to go back and forth. And then eventually tighten them down completely. And once this is done on this side, we can do it for the other side of this bar. And then you can also do the same exact thing for the bar up front as well. If you want to install the load stops, you want to do that before you put the cap on. You can either put it up top like this, and you want the flat side to be facing in, but you can also utilize these side tracks if you find a use for that. So there's a lot of cool things you can do with this ladder rack. So we're going to put this on. Might need to loosen this up a little bit. A little T-slot fits right in there. Put that down. We can replace our cap and tighten this down for whatever kind of load we plan on putting up here. Everything's done. And it's pretty solid on here. I have installed a lot of ladder racks and some of them are a little bit looser than this. This thing is rigid and I could definitely trust it. If you wanna out truck all your buddies, definitely put a ladder rack on your truck so you can have twice as much room to put twice as much stuff. That's pretty much it for a look at the Malone Trade Sport Ladder Rack. And I'm Adam with the trailer.